Minotaur Labyrinths of Crete is Bungie's third game. Released in 1992, it was the first multiplayer only game for the Mac. It sold around 2,500 copies and helped Bungie gain a fanbase in its early days when it was just a few college guys working out of a one bedroom apartment. Minotaur is a multiplayer, top down, tile based dungeon crawler with RPG elements and a randomly generated maze like map with the simple goal of killing all of your opponents. Before you play the game, you have to make a character by picking a name, sprite, and allocating stats between brawn, agility, and lore, which I'll do about what you'd expect. Once the game begins, you and your opponents spawn in random locations in the maze, with nothing in your inventories, so you have to search for items to get an edge on your opponents. The maze is randomly filled with over 90 different items, things like weapons, armor, spells, and other cool trinkets. Items are stored in your inventory like this, and you navigate your inventory with Q, W, E, and R for up, and A, S, D, and F for down, while Z, X, C, and V use the corresponding items. You move with the arrow keys, but the inventory controls are unlike any game I've ever played. So it feels a bit awkward, but given the simplicity of the game, it works well. Unfortunately, spells and items don't have unique animations or visual cues. So a spear attack, for example, looks the same as a dagger attack. But they do have different stats and effects. The only way to know what your opponent is using is to first see them use it, and then just know the game well enough to intuit what they're using based on what you saw. Which is a problem given how many items there are, and that some even look like each other or share identical stats. Some spells and trinkets in this game are really cool and creative. Like the compass which points towards opponents, or Mask of Disguise, which is like Chameleon from Dark Souls. Cool items like this and the sheer variety that is available could make for some really cool plays and gameplay opportunities, and a group of players can definitely have a lot of fun with this game if they put in the time to understand it. The issue with this game today is accessibility. It's not for sale anywhere, so the only way to play it on modern hardware is to set up an emulator with the internet, which while possible is certainly difficult. And given the obstacles to setting it up, and the large learning curve with the lack of visual clarity and variety of items, I doubt many people have the means to play this game a meaningful amount. It would be really cool to see a remake of this game, perhaps one with a few modernizations like weapons and armor with different visuals, and simple matchmaking. It's certainly something I'd check out. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching.